What's up, everybody? Welcome to Playing Dead, IGN's somewhat regular Walking Talking Dead show where we talk about The Walking Dead, the game from Telltale Season 2. Spoilers for Episode 4 in this. I gotta say so much because people get so mad when I, I don't. Know. They I just imagine. pop up. This yeah. is Christine Lakin. Hey, Hi. Christine Lakin. Hello, everyone. Hi. You're Jane. I'm Jane. You are the breakout star of Episode 4. How does that feel? <laughs> it feels really cool, actually. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm such a Walking Dead fan. Yeah. Um, I've been a big fan of the um, the TV show for a while now sure. and watched every episode. Can't wait for the next season with <laughs> bated breath. Um, so when I auditioned for this, it was, I, I really wanted it. And yeah. I did you know believe... going in that it was Walking Dead? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. And I thought the character was really cool, and I thought I had the right kind of like vocal tonality for it. And um, and when I got it, I was just super happy. Of course, I thought it was just going to be a one little stint, and sure. you know, and that was it. I had no idea the character would evolve the way it did. So it's uh, yeah, it's definitely it's it's been really really cool. That's been the really cool thing about season two so far is that there's a lot of there's red herrings on what's going to happen. Right sure. at first they came out of the gate and like Scott Porter's in this season. I'm like <laughs> Scott Porter's going to be a main character in every episode. Like not really happening. Okay, and then they're right. like Michael Madsen. I'm like right. oh I finally know the bad guy for nope not Michael Madsen. And then like it won't, in Jane, episode two right like right. oh that that quiet girl's Jane. I'm like I don't well, whatever I don't yeah, care. Yeah, Jane's about probably her. whatever. She's smoking. Yeah. She's in. She's out. Yeah, who yeah, knows? Yeah, yeah. Who knows who this person. But episode four, yeah, we actually, it's, it was, what was crazy for me, I don't, I don't know if you know this about uh, playing dead. All yeah. it is is me telling you what I felt while I pl played your yeah, game. Sure. I don't yeah, even care sure. about your answers. Okay. Uh, when I'm playing it, right, and Jane pops up, Jane is the voice of reason. Mm -hmm. you know, like when you sit there and you make these choices in the game, you're always like, well, I want to, you know, no, screw this person. I need to survive. It's about yeah. clump time. But when she pops up, she's like, you know, you, Kenny, we can't be rolling with Kenny. I'm like, oh, but I love Kenny. Yeah. Like, you're right, but don't say that to right. me. Like, <laughs> right, right. How much do they give you when you when you get the part to say like what Jane is and who she is? Um, you know, the first session uh, was definitely more. T as you get into a character, obviously you get to know this character more mm -hmm. and more, and so it becomes a little easier. The first session is very hands on, of course, because they want to make sure that that you are. They're giving you the right direction for you to give the right performance, right? Yeah. But what was interesting about it is Jane was much more hard assed in the very beginning. More hard assed. Yeah. She's pretty hard ass right now. I know, but especially in like even what I did in the in the inner um, the the first interview, the audition. Yeah. And I think because I don't know either people started to gravitate towards her. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to alienate her quite as much. Sure. And in some ways, I think they not softened her, but made her more like an ally for Clementine. Sure. 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 And showing Clementine the ropes versus being like you're such an annoying little kid, like just do this already, right. you know? And I think that's been a really interesting relationship between the two of them. Because you see this, like, big sister figure. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we know that Jane has had, you know, trauma in the past with her sister. Yeah. And we really see her kind of, like, try to do it better this time. Right. And At first she's trying to keep, all right, keep Clem keep at an arm's, at arm's length. Keep length because you don't want to, you don't want to love someone too much because yeah. there's a good chance they'll get killed. Yeah, we know um, that. I mean, that's, that's the way things happen. We all yeah. know that. But, uh, but we really see her start to open up to her and I think really be very protective. And that's, that bond between them is, is quite powerful. It's right. Cool. And this is why I'm ready for something horrible to happen. I know, aren't you? Just faded Because I've learned... <laughs> From these Telltale games, not to trust anybody, get used to anybody, blah blah. blah. But I, I, you know, I make a lot of predictions on this show. Sure. When I talk about The Walking Dead, and I remember season one. This girl Molly shows up. She's got a cool axe. <laughs> she names a Hilda. I'm like right. Molly. There's gonna be a main character from here on out. <laughs> Gone. Just leaves us. Like just straight up leaves us. Yep. I can't get over that. I think in a lot of ways Jane is here to make up for Molly. I hope so. I mean, because I really love this character, mm -hmm. and I, I of course, want to do as you know, I want to do as many episodes as I can. Yeah, it's so funny because as an actor, you go in, and every time you're like, oh no, is this going to be the day? Yeah, is this going to be the day where at the end of the day they're just going to be like, okay, well, and now we're just going to have you do death cries for an hour, and you're like, <laughs> and you know that that's happening. Yeah, yeah. But um, no, they're really sneaky about it. They don't ever really tell you what's going on, right. which is probably better for me because I think I would really start crying yeah. if I already knew I was. Well, that, that was one of my favorite stories from when we were doing Playing Dead with Michael Madsen. Yeah. I got to go down there while they VO'd with him. And number one, he's like, yeah, I really like this character. Blah, blah. So what am I doing? Like, you die this episode. Right. And he's like, oh, okay. He's like, damn. I know. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of how it is. Yeah. But uh, that's kind of how it is on the TV show, too. I sure. mean, people talk about that when they, like, get the script and it comes down and they're like, so listen, we got to talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? And th that's the genius of the show. Right. Is that people kill their babies all the time. Literally, no and that's kind sacred. of like. I mean, we've seen. I've, I've seen some of my favorite characters die on the, on the show, and I'm like, no. But you know, that's the thing that has you coming back for more, right? Because you've you you have to hope that they're like 
at least the lead's not going to die, right? You have to hope. Well, season one showed us a different angle. And that's yeah. the problem now with season two is that I play through all the scenarios in my head of like yeah. how, what is, you know, we're right now on the precipice of episode five. We've yep. seen episode four. We are leading into episode five. And this whole season has been, you know, we talked about on last episode yeah. of uh, Playing Dead that this has just been living. You know yeah. what I mean? Episode, I thought that season one was pretty much like, you're Lee, you have this girl, get her down south. Yeah. And that made sense. That was right. the mission, that was it. And there's been no real arch, arcing structure here other than your Clementine survive. Yeah. And so like, I'm terrified that yeah, they're going to kill Clem. I don't think they could. I don't think they can kill Clem. Yeah. They can't kill Clem this season. Next season, who knows? But the, uh, this season, I mean, they can't do it. Even though if they did, I think you could see picking up as Jane being a real thing. Yeah, well, it's going to be really interesting. You know, I, I can't say for certain whether Jane will be back or won't, sure. but um, it's it's definitely, you know, something I think that, like, she's given Clementine everything she needs, right? Right, right. She was the source of, of, she was sort of the voice of reason, and she was also the first person to really be like, you need to learn how to use a knife. Mm. You need to learn how to get out of here. Yeah. Like, don't be stupid. Yeah. Um, and I think See, she See, but gave... that was a conversation that made me really mad, because yeah. I wanted to be like, no, you bitch, Lee told me all this. All right? <laughs> right, you're not you're not dropping new knowledge on me. <laughs> right, you exactly. got you better learn your place, Jane. <laughs> right. But she was, you know, they have a different bond, I think, because they're both right. They're both females. Right, so, right, right, right. Um, so you know, I think now is now it'll just become a. I mean, whether Jane returns or not, I think is sort of up to the you know what the player chooses. Um, yeah. But uh, but there's some there's definitely some cool stuff in store. That's all I can say. No, of course that's all you can say. No one can give you a straight answer about what's happened in this goddamn Sorry. universe. Um, the next question then would be what what is were you prepared? You talk about you being a fan of The Walking yeah. Dead. Were you prepared for the reaction of the fans of the game? No, not yeah. at all. And you know I've done games before that have sort of cult followings, sure. uh, like Uncharted and woo. you know uh, woo and Medal of Honor. Woo, no, I'm like not that. wooing that. Oh, wooing okay. Uncharted, okay. all right, Miss Chase. Um, but I but I really wasn't prepared for, and it, it's been recently because now you sure. know the 204 just came out, and um, and not only on Twitter, but I've also gotten some like straight up fan letters with the avatar yeah, asking yeah. me to sign it and stuff. That's awesome. That is so cool. And it's it, it's really been great. People people really seem to gravitate towards her, and yeah. they're kind of excited to find out that I voiced her. And um, I like I said, I just I love doing her. I love who this girl is. I love her backstory. I love that she's a bit broken and sort of a loner. And I I I really understand what that that world sort of is. So it's weird as an actor. Um, I was talking to you about this before. Uh, but as an actor, when you go in to do a job, you have to put yourself sort of your job is to put yourself in the mindset of this character and try to to say these lines as realistically as you can right. in that in that 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 area, that space, whatever you of wherever you are, whatever scene you're doing. And for me, because I think I was such a fan, like being able to have this real relationship in my head with this girl who I hear her voice. I never act with her, but I hear her voice. Yeah. And we go back and forth as I'm doing these scenes. And sometimes I just sort of close my eyes and, and you know, I'll read through the lines. Like some of them are very emotional. Some of them are very heated. Um, and it, I really feel like I have this weird <laughs> kind of... Um, uh, scenario playing out in my head all the time. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool actually. It's like acting with yourself. I don't know. It's, it sounds kind of crazy, it but no, it's, crazy. it's working. You yeah, can't argue with the crazy. results that yeah. everybody likes here. Yeah. So, all right, when you take the job, you're a fan already. Does it yep. set in that you're getting involved with something that you'll be attached to the rest of your life? Walking Dead's not going anywhere. Yeah. I always make this case that it's the ne- it is the next Star Wars. Yeah. That it's just going to keep getting. B- I always tell Dave Fenoy, right. Just stop doing voiceover work and just go to cons and sign stuff. You don't need to work anymore, man. You right, retire sure. on this. Yeah. yeah. No, it, in fact, um, that's kind of crazy that you say that. But I guess you're totally right. It's, um, it's you know, this is a, it's a franchise that w- ha- will just continue and continue, whether you're a fan of the, you know, the comic or whether you're a fan of the TV show. And mm-hmm. certainly the game gives you that interactive way to play these characters that you get to know and love. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I, I hadn't really thought of it that way, but it's uh, it's definitely very flattering, for sure. Yeah, I'm happy to blow your mind. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I mean, for me, having <laughs> been, like, I always talk about the fact that, you know, I, I was on the Walking Dead train really early. Not, and yeah. I don't say it in, like, the hipstery way. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Screw these new people. Yeah, sure. But, I mean, I remember when it was just this weird trade paperback a friend gave me. He's like, you right. might like this. And I was like, right. oh, this is amazing. And so now to be here and like all the different properties for different reasons, yeah. right? And what I talk about all the time is that, for me, the one I'm most invested in, love the most, is the game because mm-hmm. that's me making the choices and deciding right. who these characters are and going and seeing it evolve and evolve and evolve. Do you? I mean, 
is it different playing a character in this universe versus you know you've been in other video games sure. where, the, but where the choices don't aren't really a thing, right? Like right. Uncharted's a story. This of is course. how you're going. This one you're branching on doing stuff. Of course. Is there a difference playing those kind of roles versus a TV role or a film role? You know, um, there, this is more this is more similar to doing film and television mm-hmm, mm-hmm. than uh, just like a straight game where you're literally like you know shoot me. Shoot him! Go here! <laughs> Get them! You know, I mean... Maybe this you is... should dust that off, Drake, and rotate it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So this is definitely more, and I think it's it's uh, it's a much more emotional story we're telling. Yeah. And um, there's definitely more, like, the direction is is much more rooted in, like, what you would get from a film or television director. of Like, reasons behind it. It's not just, say this line slower. Say it a little faster and louder. It's more like, okay... She's feeling like she wants to feel badly for these people, but Jane's not good at showing emotion. So, and I'm like, okay, right. And this is, and like the line will literally be like, okay, let's move on. And so it's four words, right? Right. Three words, four words, but you're literally going through, like, I have to sit there and be like, okay, wait, give me a minute. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Sure. So she's feeling. Really putting yourself in that vibe, and it's yeah, it's much more complex. And you, I'm that, assuming that that's air. good, right? You like that oh, kind I of. Oh, I love that. Okay, okay, yeah, that kind of absolutely. Direction. Okay, absolutely. I think I mean, it plays well on the screen. Like you talk about, it, you know, there's that there's a scene from this where you got it's uh, you, it's right. Jane, uh, and then I almost said Scott, right. Jane, Luke, and Clem walking right. along, right? And there for me, of course, I left Rebecca to die. <laughs> Horrible character, not horrible character, it's a horrible person. It wasn't meant for this world. No, it was I'm with not Jane meant- on this. Thank with you. With Jane on this. You're, Thank you. You're I would have left Rebecca to die too if I'd yeah. been playing myself. Right, exactly. Uh, <laughs> but like when they're walking, they finally, Jane does finally put her foot down. She's yeah. like, all right, we're done. You know yep. what I mean? This is how it was. And, you, and like that's what we need for that moment. We yeah. need that character. So right. I, I guess that all comes from the direction. Yeah, I think so. And you know, we're also like, obviously, we're telling a much more sort of evolved emotional story. Mm-hmm. And I think that's really important because in this kind of a game, you know, people are. You're invested in the characters, and then you are the one making the decision for them. So right. you have to feel invested in their real stories. You know, that's that's the whole point of the game. Yep. I think. I agree. <laughs> Christine Lakin. Yeah. You're a fantastic person. Thank you. Thank you for coming by. Thank I you hope for Jane me. comes back. I, I hope so too. I hope season three, if Clem dies, if, if Clem doesn't die, <laughs> we'll keep going with Clem. If it's not, it needs to be like True Detective, you and Molly. Yeah, Jane right? Jane and Molly running Jane around. Jane and Molly yeah. running around, that would be rad. Yeah, that's what it's got to be. <laughs> uh, people follow her on Twitter. And of course, for everything about Walking Dead Season 2, The Game, Telltale, all the other words they attach to that title. Stay right here on IGN.